Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Viknesh and in this video, we are going to do a practical lab in Google Cloud Platform where we have to export a data which is present inside BigQuery table to GCS bucket on daily basis. So our requirement is we have to export data from BigQuery table to GCS bucket on daily basis and this process is to be automated. In order to automate it, we are dependent on a cron scheduler or some service which is related to scheduling. So in our case, we will be using the inbuilt service which is provided by BigQuery called scheduled queries. So what are the services which is required for this particular lab? First one is our source that is BigQuery table and next the target is GCS bucket and the third one is in order to automate it, we will be using the cron scheduler that is scheduled big queries scheduled queries offered by BigQuery. so this is the requirement and before getting into practical i just wanted to show you this page so whatever the limitations we have and what are the required permissions for accessing data from BigQuery and to write it into cloud storage bucket so these are the access like object admin admin and BigQuery data viewer data owner data editor admin and BigQuery user job user and BigQuery admin and the next one is location consideration. It's like if your data which is present inside BigQuery tables, US location on a multi-region or in a dual region or in a regional, you are supposed to write to that particular region in cloud storage bucket as well. And you can do this in multiple ways. You can use SQL, you can use console, you can use BQ command line tool, or you can use APIs or any client libraries like Go, Java, Node.js, PHP, Python, and Ruby. And now in this lab, we are going to use the SQL and we are going to make use of this inbuilt functionality provided by BigQuery. So where we are going to export data and in options, we are going to pass URI that is the GCS bucket and what is the file format. In our case, we will be also using CSV as our file format. Format is CSV. Apart from that, like you can also use Avro and Parquet files. And override, you can set it as true or you can set it as false. Header, true and field delimiter as semicolon. We can use comma as well. And this is what a simple query which will get you, which will do the job for us. Apart from that, you can just go through it. And in the upcoming videos, I'll try to do it using BQ command line tool and in Python client libraries and also in other different ways. So now this is what this scenario, this is what we are going to achieve in this particular video and without any further delay let's get into our console so this is the console i'll be using for this particular lab you can open your bigquery you can directly search or you can go to products and solutions all products under analytics click on this bigquery so this is where we will be writing our sql query which starts with export data and the table which you are going to use for this particular demo is under this data set stage underscore order so what are the schemas or what are the data we have so order id customer id order date and status and the details you will be able to see the number of rows and in preview we can preview the records and from this big query we are going to make use of the scheduled queries in order to schedule it on daily basis or monthly basis or weekly basis or an hourly basis as well yes so this is our sql query export data under options we are going to pass this gcs bucket so i have to create the bucket so you can just click on this and directly search for bucket so cloud storage bucket and you can create one new bucket for this purpose so you can just click bucket bq gcs and let it be in multi-region that is in us region and storage let it arrest all the other things let it be default so we are going to click on create a bucket bucket name is bucket pq2 gcs under this we are going to create one folder name the folder name is bq data exported so you can just click on this and create a folder here you will be able to see one folder created and there is nothing inside this file so you can just copy this and you can just place it over here so bucket and the folder name and this is going to be our file name so whatever the file like it is going to execute daily right so bq gcs export daily and the file format or the file name will be 00 for the first time 001 for the second time and 002 for the third time so this is how our file name will look like 
and the format is csv we have gone through already this so here yeah, now we are going to schedule this query you can just click on this schedule and you can just give details and schedule like you can give a name so bq to gcs daily job schedule query name so now the next is scheduled options under this repeat frequency you can find minutes hours days weeks months custom on demand as well so whatever you want you will be able to do it for us it is going to be daily and at what time everything it is going to be at utc so at 12 o'clock so this is what we are going to schedule and you can start now or at start at set time as well so we are going to start now and when it is going to end so basically it will run for a month and then it will end at april 22 i'll just close this and the next one is if you want you can set a destination table as well but this is not required in our case so we are just going to skip it and the automatic location selection so we are going to keep it as multi region itself us so our bucket is also in us multi region this particular uh, data set is also in multi region only and the service account so we are going to use this default engine service account and under options we are going to use google manage encryption key and then just click on this send email options and now you can just save it so under scheduled queries you will be able to find one so bq to gcs daily job so it has already started it is in running state and before to that in under iam whatever the default compute engine service account which i have created you have to make sure you have given required roles and permissions to that particular service account i have already given that you can just click on this bq to gcs daily job so it is currently in the running state you can just click on this and you will be able to find the logs related to this this particular run so it is currently running and here also i'll just stop like i'll just skip that and if you want you can edit it if you want you can delete it if you want you can disable this particular job if you want to schedule a backfill you can do it so run a one time data transfer or run for a particular date range you can do that as well and the more you will be able to find or update the credentials related to this so now i'll just click on this configuration you can see the resource name the user this is the compute engine default service account this is where we will be giving our iam roles and permissions and so this is going to be scheduled query and every day at 12 o'clock utc and start date there is none until april 21 2024 till this particular time it will be running on daily basis notification cloud pops up we have not given it email notification yes on failure we will get an email notification to our mail id and encryption is google manage encryption key and this is the query string and we have not given any destination table or write preference partitioning nothing is there so you can just go to run history and you can just click on this running status you will be able to find whether it is completed or not you can just expand this and you will be seeing a cloud logging page so this is where you will be able to see our cloud logging so whatever the query is and it is succeeded so yes summary succeeded one job now we will see whether the data whether the csv file is present inside our gcs bucket so this is my bucket bq to gcs folder and i'll just refresh it once yes the file is created here you can see the file is created and yes the file has been created exported successfully order id customer id order date and place as well and respective we have totally 99 records and we will be able to see that 99 records present inside of gcs psv file so this is how we will be able to export data from gcs sorry bigquery table to gcs bucket on daily basis the same way you can do it for weekly monthly yearly or custom date or on on demand also for example if our job is failed for any reason if your job is failed you will be able to find that in the logs if you want you can delete it if you want you can disable it just click on this and the transfer successfully disable if you want you can delete it as well so you can just click on this and you can enable it or if you want you can just delete it also so i'll delete it and that's it for this particular lab i hope you learned how to move or how to export data from bigquery tables to gcs bucket on daily basis if you have any questions please post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply to it as soon as possible please do like 
comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon i'll see you in the next video until then it's bye from viknesh happy learning